Welcome back from Milwaukee's famous landmarks like the domes to long standing traditions like fish fries and festivals. Our next guest has a knack for making what's great about the city hilarious. Now we're thrilled to welcome Doby Maxwell back to the yellow couch because this Thursday he's bringing back his popular show to the stage. It's called Schlitz Happened, an old Milwaukee blast from the past. Patched. I love it. Oh, Patched. from the past. There's Sorry. Four beers in there. What did yeah. I just say? That's okay. Past, Paps. It's past. quite a from title. Close enough. Yes, yeah. Blats from the past. Blats, blats from the Paps. <laughs> okay. Blats from the past. It's okay. As long as I'm here, it's all right. Who cares? Doesn't let's matter. get it. Just come exactly. see you. Yes. We'll get it right at the end. Great to see you, Dobie. Great to be back always. Um, so your show is this Thursday. This Thursday at Revere's out in Delafield. And, and it, do you always kind of switch it up? Because I know this is a show that you've done before, mm -hmm. but you add a little new energy to it. Yeah. It's, it's Miles Davis, the jazz trumpeter, said I play some of the same songs songs every night, but I never play them in exactly the same way. And there are so many things about Milwaukee. If you grew up here, if you spent a lot of time here, you've been here since when, 94? Yeah. You're one of us. Oh Sorry. yeah, I feel you, like yeah, it. Hey there, you know what a bubbler <laughs> is and all those kind of things. And everywhere <laughs> I go on the road, I've been all over America and someone's always from Milwaukee at the shows and they'll, they'll go back in the green sheet and, and Ernie von Schladorn and Leon's frozen custard and all those kind of things. And when people come out, they'll, they'll throw something in. It's interactive. So I have a story about this and it goes on all kind of different tangents. It's, it's never the same show twice exactly. You you mentioned a lot of things that people are going to be hearing and laughing about on Absolutely Thursday. True. Like, wh what should people expect when they show up at one of your shows? Well, uh, I kind of talk about what it's like to grow up. I'll say, I don't want to put a number on it, but okay. if you came of age before the internet, you know, oh, and, and, yeah. yes, and all, a lot of us did, and the life was just a lot of it, a lot different then. And but I was raised by my grandparents here in Milwaukee, and they used to say two words that would make me cringe years ago, and some big, long, boring story would come after that. So I try to make it exciting and fun and things that we have. We, we do that now to our kids. Then. Do you exactly? Oh, yeah, exactly. It's exactly. revenge. Whenever it's we can, it is. The generational torch. There you go. But yeah. Oh, but I'm glad you brought up your, your, your grandparents because mm -hmm. a lot of people are now familiar with your life story because yes. you wrote this book, Monkey in the Middle. Mm -hmm. And you, you in, uh, share really not just an incredible story, but some sad details too. Born in Milwaukee uh, to a biker dad, a yeah. drug abusing mom. Yeah. You were not even six months old when your mom abandoned you um, and your two old, older siblings. Yes. You ended up living with your grandparents. My like father's you just parents. Said. Yes. But then you tell this whole story, the Monkey in the Middle thing is all this, this friend that you had who robs mm -hmm. a bank and then does it twice. again twice <laughs> yeah. and blames you for it. Mm -hmm. I had to wear a wire for the FBI to get him to confess that he did it. I'm not wearing one today, so don't worry. Okay, you can say good. whatever you want. You. It's all good. We told you a lot of things before the you show. You did a lot of things. Yeah. And it's all in confidence here. Right? Okay, show business ahead. confidence. But the thing is, there are a lot of sad things that people had in their lives. And I think, you know, selective memory when you go back in nostalgia, to think of the good things, the fun things, the things you don't realize are fun when you're going through them. You know, people say, oh, what high school did you go to? And, and all those kind of things. And people come back. The biggest compliment people pay me after the show is, you took me through the good parts of my life. Oh, that's and cute. That's what you can do. And you teach people how to do this too. Yes. You teach comedy, but it's really, is it, is it more about teaching people how to laugh at themselves and their life? Well, you had mentioned about having a second wind at age 56. Yes. There's a whole population now that have raised children that want to come back and live their dreams. They want to be in bands. They want to be a comedian. So I teach classes a lot of times. My, most of my students now are older than that. And they go out and they, they tell about their life stories and they have more rich life experience. So it's a lot easier to teach them. Here's a question I've always wanted to know is, can anybody be funny? No. no. First thing okay, I Okay, good. Because so. I don't think so either. Really? And some people, like, I feel like one of the worst things you can say about someone is you're mean. The second it might might be number two on the list is you're not funny. No, you know? Some people are tone deaf. Some people are colorblind. <laughs> some people are not funny. And they wind up as middle management and they make everybody else's life miserable. Well, and some people think they're funny, <laughs> oh, but they're yeah. not. Nobody thinks you know? they're a bad driver. Nobody <laughs> thinks they're a bad lover. Nobody thinks they're not funny. <laughs> It's true. That's I'm sorry. A great point. It no, really it's is. Great. What's it's the number good. one rule when you're talking to people who may not be funny on how to be funny? Because I'm sure you've gotten some of those peeps. Be informative, be entertaining, or be quiet. Those are your three choices. Informative, okay. funny, it, or be quiet. Be All right. Quiet. Yeah. We have a game for you. This okay. Is never have I ever. I, All right. I, I'm going to tell you how you play. So we ask you a question. You say, I have never. Mm -hmm. Or you say, I have. Okay. You ready? I don't know what's coming okay. here, so here we go. All right. The first question is, never have I ever been called a class clown? Uh, I, I have. Okay. Okay. Good. Never have I ever heard. You're doing good so far. Yeah. Sorry. One for one. <laughs> heard crickets after my best joke. Oh, have. Yeah. Definitely. I've started riots before. I've had the cops call before. The South, anywhere below Cincinnati, should be sold back to whoever we bought them from. South of the Mason-Dixon? From, Mason your Dixon? from they my jokes. the cops? 
Well, I got it. It was in Kentucky. It's, we don't have time for okay. the story. Okay. Let's just say okay. Okay. I didn't get arrested, That's all you but the cops showed up. It was in Kentucky, and the cops so. showed up. Yes. <laughs> Never have I ever forgot the punchline to a joke while telling it. I have. No way. Well, this happened to every comedian. Yeah, it when happens you, to me with every you? joke. I tell you, yeah, that, I'm horrible. It's the worst when you have to hear a long joke and then they forget the punchline. Yeah, oh, that's, that's me. bad. Okay, this is pretty bad too. Okay. Never have I ever used another comedian's material. You know what? I'm very, very. Uh, uh, Self-conscious about that. That's one thing. It's a big no-no in comedy. Good for you. Okay. Good for you. Never have I ever slept in the car after a gig. Oh, I have. <laughs> oh, yeah. Definitely. Yes. I, uh, home on wheels. I moved. I know success in show business is moving up to a better car. Awesome. <laughs> Never have I ever uh, worked for food or beer. Uh, food. Yes. <laughs> okay. yeah. yeah. I don't drink. Okay. Oh, at all? At all. Never had a drink. All right. Never. Once. Never. Never once. Never have I ever seen a stand-up routine and not laughed even one time. Uh. I have not laughed one time. So, ha have you ever seen a, a whole show and you haven't laughed once? Yes. Oh, oh yes. that's bad. Painful. Okay. Uh, never have I ever um, had a cavity-free tooth. <laughs> no, I, I, I have never had not had a cavity tooth. I, we saw that on you your saw website. That on your website. Oh, I man, I, I, he has I open my mouth when I'm, I stick my head out the car window. It whistles. There's so many cavities. <laughs> I love it. No. It's All right. Bad. Oh wait, there's one more I wanted to get to. Um, oh, never have I ever told another comedian or one of my students to hang it up. Uh, I have. <laughs> yeah, I've told that. You know, go drive a truck. Here's the one ends. <laughs> Forklifts pay. You get You're a not pension. funny. Yeah. You're no offense. Funny. I hate to say, I hate to break people's dreams. I wanted to play baseball. I get to throw the first pitch at County Stadium on April 24th. I wanted to play baseball, and I got this close, and I didn't make it. It breaks your heart, but you gotta accept it. Yeah. You know. Gotta so be what it is. It is what it is. Gotta be who you are. Gotta be great who you are. To see you, Always great to see you, Dobie. Thanks for playing our game. That was for fun. Me. And here is the information about Dobie's show. It's coming up this week, Thursday, in two days, February 23rd. Doors open at six. The show starts at seven. Schlitz happened, an old Milwaukee blats from the past. Perfect. Oh, I Yay. got it. You got I did it. it. Great tickets for Molly. It's in Delafield at the Revere's Well Street Tavern. WMaxwell.com is his website where you can find out more about his trips to the dentist <laughs> and his teeth, which all have a cavity. But that's okay. Thanks, Dobie. <laughs> Thank you, Great to see you. Great to see you.